Hi friends, thanks again for tuning in. I know you're busy and the fact that you wanted to spend a few minutes with me means the world, so thank you for that. And if you're new, my name is Jill. I'm a mom of 10 and I've been on a weight loss journey for the past four months. And this is just where I share all about that. So every Wednesday I do a, um, a weigh-in video, like, like an update. So speaking of updates, um, I feel like I have to clarify something in my, my last video. And if you haven't seen that, you might wanna go check it out if you wanna see me run for my life. <laughs> but um, anyway, basically in that video, I shared that I hadn't lost any weight again. And it was basically a complete um, four weeks of not losing any weight. And actually I had gained two pounds sometime during that month and then lost it and basically I was just kind of up and down that whole month battling the same one or two pounds and so I made a comment um, I said something like that I felt like the month was was wasted because there was no progress and I feel like I gave the wrong impression just based on some of the feedback that I was getting and it wasn't wasn't negative feedback just comments from people trying to encourage me because they thought I was they felt I was uh, discouraged and I I was not discouraged I promise guys I was not discouraged I was disappointed I absolutely I was disappointed because I felt that my the work I was doing wasn't being reflected on the scale so yeah for sure I was I was disappointed but I, I wasn't discouraged and I think it's important to make a distinction between discouragement and disappointment and the reason for that is because I've been discouraged on multiple weight loss journeys in the past. It was just a pattern with me basically. So I, I could only speak for myself, but I'm sure you could relate and um, have a similar story. But basically it would start with me purposing to lose weight and I would do pretty good the first couple of months I would be having results and that would help motivate me to keep going and inevitably I would hit like a like a stall and that would mess with my head it would it would start causing doubt and I would start feeling like maybe I couldn't lose weight that maybe uh, my body was just used to being at whatever weight that was you know and that you know, maybe I was too old, I had had 10 kids, and I just, you know, I was stuck at, at whatever my weight was. And so that would cause me to kind of have a little pity party where I would start eating all the things that I was avoiding. I would just eat them in excess. And of course, then I would feel bad that I had done that and I would then calorie restrict, trying to make up for the fact that I had caused a good bit of damage, you know? Um, and then of course, you know, when you're not eating and you're not getting the right amount of calories, you know, if you're only eating 800 to 1,000 calories a day, you're just not gonna handle stress um, very well. You're gonna be cranky, you're gonna be um, hungry. You know, and so I was just not, um, my mood was off and no one can sustain that um, type of that, that strict of a restriction. It's just not healthy. And so eventually that was unsustainable and I would then binge eat. And then it would almost just like repeat. I'd binge eat, um, feel bad about that, and then I'd restrict. And then eventually I would get to the point where you know, I, I would just give up. I would just give up and kind of resign myself to not losing any weight, like not being able to lose any weight. And so this time around, even though I was putting in the work, and if you guys are following me on the community tab, you know that I post on there every day to keep myself accountable, but also to help motivate you in your fitness journey. And you know that I'm, you know, I just started strength training a couple of weeks ago and before that I was walking every day and I still try to squeeze in my walks but I was I was putting in the work and I was making sure that I was staying within my calorie deficit and yet the scale just wasn't moving it, it wasn't moving and 
Well, except for, like I said, that one week where it did move up, but that was, I knew I was overeating that week. My son was visiting, but anyway, <laughs> I, I talked about it in one of the videos. But um, aside from that, I was really doing all the right things. I, I really, really was doing all the right things. So it was disappointing, but I wasn't discouraged. And I was actually really proud of myself this past month that even though I was putting in all the hard work, I have the sore muscles to prove it, um, that even though I was doing all those things and the scale wasn't moving in the direction that I wanted it to, that I was, I was still proud that I didn't have like a, a defeatist attitude and just give up and kind of throw my hands in the air and say, you know, this, what's the point? You know, why am I spending money on these injections? You know, why, why go through the trouble? It's, it's not working, you know, I'm just gonna give up. I was proud that I didn't have that attitude and I, I don't, don't really know how to articulate this, but I think part of the reason why I wasn't discouraged by the fact that the scale wasn't, you know, saying what I wanted it to say was because I have this amazing medication working for me. So I'm on Zepbound um, five milligrams and that in a weird way kind of took the pressure off of me to do all the right things and i don't i don't know if that's making sense but i guess i felt that in the back of my mind i felt that even if i wasn't doing you know all the things that i'm doing okay so I, if even if i wasn't you know trying to eat better and exercising that the medication would be there sort of as a as a safety net and as long as i didn't overeat like excessively every single day the medication would help me lose weight and that just kind of removed some of the pressure where i didn't feel like this was all on me that everything was riding on me and my ability to to lose weight and it was nice not having that that pressure and it, I think it really did help me. I think that was the reason why I didn't feel discouraged because in the back of my mind, I just knew that, that this was going to work, that I was, I was going to get through this, that, and I know I said this in my last video, but that basically my body just needed a break. I had been pushing it pretty hard for the past couple of months. And, you know, I was losing on average like two pounds a week and it just, it just needed a minute. It just needed a minute to kind of, you know, catch its breath and recalibrate. And I knew that if I gave it that time that it needed, that it would almost come back like, like fresh and ready to lose the weight again. And so I guess I just want to encourage you, and this is good advice, whether you're on a GLP-1 medication or not, but to trust the process and not to be discouraged if you're not happy with you know the, the scale, the number on the scale. And of course we know that that number doesn't tell the full picture. There's a lot going on and that's just one way of measuring progress. And, and I know that I've said this before, but it's so important to take measurements because that was another thing that really helped a lot this past month was knowing that, okay, the scale wasn't, wasn't going down, but the measurements we're moving in the right direction. And that just really helped reassure me that, that this was gonna be okay, that I was just kind of going through this little, you know, uh, a pause in my progress and that, that it would resume, you know, shortly. And really just, like I said, just trust the process and trust that your body is not broken, that it is capable of losing weight, that, that it, that it just sometimes needs a break and it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that you're doing anything wrong or that you should give up in fact it's quite the opposite it actually means that your body needs a minute to adjust to its current state and if you give it that time it'll be ready to to work again for you and just don't be discouraged and don't give up when you're not getting the results that you think you should be getting so with that, I guess I will share this week's update, but actually that reminds me, <laughs> I'm sorry, I hate to be like a tease, but um, I'm almost at 800 subscribers. I think I was at 797 um, right before I filmed this video, um, I checked. So I have a goal and I wasn't gonna share this, but 
you know, why not? <laughs> I'll just share it. But I have a goal of reaching a thousand subscribers by my birthday, which is August 4th. And I would love for you to help uh, get me there. So a lot of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed. And if you've been watching some of my videos and just, you know, haven't subscribed for whatever reason, but you've enjoyed my videos and you've been watching them, I would just like to ask you to please subscribe. And if you absolutely don't want to do that, fine. But maybe you can share a video that you think somebody, um, you know, somebody, you know, would appreciate. Um, so yeah, I would just like to reach a thousand subscribers. Um, uh, basically that's kind of a lofty goal because that's 2000, uh, 200 subscribers in a little more than a month. So I realize it's a little lofty, but um, like I said, most of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if just a fraction of you guys <laughs> subscribe, then I could easily reach that goal. So yeah, if you could do me that favor, I would be very happy. You would make my, uh, my birthday. <laughs> so I just want to throw that out there. Um, and thank you. If you are subscribed, thank you so much for giving me a chance and coming alongside of me on my journey. So I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, okay. For the weigh-in, finally, I have some news to report. I feel like for the past four videos, there's been nothing to report. So <laughs> finally, I have some news to report, some good news. And um, I weighed myself this morning and I was 178 pounds. So very happy. That's three pounds this past week. It was much better than I was hoping. I was really just hoping like for a pound. Um, yeah, I'm so happy with that because I'm finally in the 170s and you guys know that I had had a goal to get into the 170s by the beginning of June. Um, so, you know, better late than never. So I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm really happy with my progress so far and I'm just excited. I'm excited to keep going. I'm excited to keep going on this journey. I'm really happy with the progress that I've been making. Um, and it's not just, it's not just the weight loss. The weight loss is a huge aspect of it but it's been so much more than that for me. This medication is life-changing. And I don't, I really, that may sound like cliche, and I really, I know if you're, if you're on this medication, you probably would agree with me, but it just has been, it's been so, it's been so great for me, really. It's, it's given me confidence um, to know that I can do hard things. It's given me, given me motivation to do hard things, you know, and I just think back to when I started this journey um, and I started the walking challenge in April and my goal then was just to walk a half hour. I just wanted to be able to walk a half hour. So I started out uh, a half hour at that time equaled about, I think it was about a mile. You know, as I got better at it, I was able to increase my speed a little bit. And eventually I got to the point where I could do three miles in, I think it was like 52 minutes. So I was, I was very happy with that. And I didn't share that, but I was, I was thrilled with that. I was thrilled that I could actually do that. I definitely was hustling, but my heart rate was still in that zone to range. Um, so it wasn't like I was you know, killing myself. It wasn't like I was huffing and puffing like I was last week when you saw me running away from those flies. Um, I wasn't like that. And so I know that, you know, my heart is getting stronger. My lungs are getting stronger. Um, my legs are getting stronger. You know, I'm, I'm just, I'm just happy with the progress that I've been making. And then recently I started strength training and I started with doing the exercises, just body weight because I knew that I was gonna be using these muscle groups in new ways. So I started off just doing body weight exercises. And I did that for like a week or two, I, I can't remember. And then I um, started to incorporate uh, weights and I was doing five pound weights. The other day I went to Walmart and I bought um, 10 pound dumbbells and I you know, started that. Um, yesterday, I started that with with the, with the ten pound dumbbell, dumbbells. Yesterday, so I was happy about that, and and it's hard. I probably should have gone with like an eight something, be, you know, because this is like doubling the weight. I went from five to ten, but I'm I'm doing it. I'm doing it. It's it's really hard, but 
but I'm doing it. And so I, I, I just want to encourage you that you can do hard things too. You can do hard things too. You're not too old. You're not too out of shape. You're not, you know, whatever it is. You can do hard things too. You just have to start. You just have to start where you are. And if all you can do is, you know, chair exercises, then that's okay. That's where you start. If you can only walk for five minutes before, you know, you got to turn back because your ankles are killing you or your knees are killing you, then that's okay. That's where you start. You just, you just have to start somewhere. Where, wherever you start is, is progress because at least you're doing something. So it doesn't have to always look like, like you're sweating buckets and, you know, you're, you're like drenched in sweat in order for that movement to count. And that was something that I used to kind of think too, that um, unless I was putting in that kind of effort, then, you know, anything outside of that was just pointless. And that was, that was, that was dumb. That was the wrong attitude to have. It's, it's not true. Start where you are. You will get stronger. Your body is amazing and it'll adapt. It'll adapt. And it may take a little longer than, you know, when you were 20, but it, It'll adapt and it'll work for you and it'll do amazing things for you, but you can't give up. You can't give up. You just got to hang in there and it'll all work out. Trust the process and you'll be happy. Your future self will be happy for the things that you're doing um, today. So I just want to leave you with that. And um, I guess, you know, again, just thank you if you've been subscribed to me. Thank you for um, giving me a chance and coming along this journey with me. So that is all I have for you today. And I will see you in a couple of days. Thanks again. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. <laughs> Bye.